everyone and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to finish off your beautiful Whirly Modern Baby Blankets. So obviously part one of this will be linked in the description if you haven't done that yet. But this is part two and part two will be all about showing you how to do these beautiful border rows. Because obviously the basic design of the blanket is very simple. And then we just jazz it up a little bit with some beautiful texture with these few border rows. So obviously this was done with a shapey swirl but you can use absolutely any yarn but the written pattern which I will leave a link to in the description um, obviously all of those gauges and things like that are specifically written for a whirl but you can use anything you want. So obviously in part one I used just some scraps of yarn that I had lying around and that is what I'm going to be doing my border around. So you can either change your colour for your border or you will just continue if you're using a shapey swirl, obviously you'll just continue with that. So your final round should have been round 38 which will have been a solid granny round and that is where we will pick up. So if you were just carrying on with your shapey swirl you would just start your new row in the same way by doing your chain one turn and slip stitch into your corner space. So I'm going to just attach in my corner space. And yarn over, pull through both, which would look like a UK double, and then pop your hook through that vertical section of your stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. And that just gives you a treble height stitch. So like I say, if you were continuing with your shapey swirl, you'll have just chained one, turned, slip stitched into your corner as normal and done your chain two. So now we need to add our second UK treble into this corner space. So yarn over, insert and pull up and complete your treble. So that is our two trebles like we would normally have and we will finish this corner when we get back round. So now we're going to be doing lots of front post treble stitches. So you'll yarn over, insert your hook behind the stitch and come out the other side. I'll just show you that again. You'll yarn over, insert your hook behind the treble and out the other side, yarn over and pull up and then you'll complete your treble as normal. And then again on the next stitch, so yarn over insert behind the next treble and out the other side and complete your treble. Show you one more time, yarn over behind that next treble and complete. And you're going to do that all the way to the corner space which is where I will meet you in just a second. Okay, so you'll also do your front post trebles around the two in the corner space from your previous row. So that is how you should be looking at this point. And then in your corner spaces you will just do two normal trebles. One and two and then chain two and then two trebles back in as normal. And then you'll just continue that all the way around. So you'll do around each side, you will do your front post trebles around every stitch and then two trebles, chain two, two trebles in your corner space. So that is where I will meet you again. Rewind if you need to and I will see you as you get to the other side in just a minute. Okay, so we're ready now to close off on this round. So you're going to do your final two trebles into that corner space. One and two. Do your final chain two. And then you'll either be slip stitching into the top of the full treble that you did if you attach new yarn, or you'll be slip stitching into the top of your chain two. So slip stitch, chain one, and turn and when you turn around you'll be able to see the lovely texture that you've created with those post stitches. So you can see you've got a lovely bit of texture there now. 
This next round is a super simple round. We're literally just going to be doing double crochet, so UK double crochets. So we're going to slip stitch back into the corner space, chain one, but that's not going to count as a stitch. So we're now going to do one UK double crochet into this corner space. So yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both, and then into the top of your next treble, you'll do a double crochet. And you're literally just going to do one UK double or US single crochet into every single stitch along. So you'll insert, yarn over and pull up and yarn over, pull through both. So do that all the way along and I will meet you at the corner space. Okay, so I'm working into that final treble. And then this time into your corner spaces, you're going to do one double crochet and then chain two and one double crochet. So your corners are just one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. And then again, all the way along with your doubles. So if you continue that all the way around and I will meet you at the other end in just a minute. Okay, so I've done my final double crochet into that treble stitch and I'm back to my corner. So I need to finish off with my one double, chain two, and then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet that we did at the beginning of the round. We're going to ignore the chain one, which is here, and you're going to go into the top of your double and slip stitch. Okay, so round three of the border, we're not going to turn for this one. You're keeping your work facing you now, so those ridges that we created before should be facing you. And what we're going to do is slip stitch into the top of the next double crochet, so you've slip stitched into this one here and you want to slip stitch into the next one along, like so. You go into chain three and then you're going to put four more trebles, so that counts as your first one, you're going to put four trebles into that same stitch. So that's one, two, three, and four. We're then going to pull up a loop and just pop your finger through your loop so that you don't lose it. And then you're going to insert your hook through the top of the chain three and through the top of that fifth treble. Then going to grab your yarn and pull it through and then you'll do a chain one and that chain one counts as part of your popcorn stitch. You're then going to chain one, you're going to skip this next double here and you're going to do a popcorn into the next one along so that obviously that first one was different because we had the chain three but from now on you'll do five trebles so you'll skip one and do five trebles so that's one two three four and five, and then at this point you'll pull up your loop, insert your hook into the top of that first treble from this round, and through the top of that fifth and final treble, pop your yarn back over your hook, pull, pull it tighter, and then slip stitch. So you'll go through, pull that yarn through both chain one, remember that counts as part of your popcorn. You then go into chain one, skip the next double crochet and popcorn in the next and you'll do that all the way along to your corner space which is where I will meet you in just a second. Okay I've had to do a funny little cheat because I'm actually really running out of yarn and um, so I'll just show you how to work your chain two corner spaces so you'll have done your popcorn, you'll have one double crochet to skip here and then you'll work one popcorn stitch into that 
corner space. So you'll do your five trebles. Chain one, obviously, which counts as part of your popcorn. Chain two, and then back into that same corner space, you will do another popcorn stitch. chain one as part of your popcorn and then chain one and then you're ready to carry on the rest of your way round now you'll skip one and then carry on with your popcorn into the next so if you work that all the way around now and then I will meet you back at the other side in just a minute okay so back at this where we started from you'll have your chain two space where you'll need to complete your normal corner so you'll do your popcorn chain one for your popcorn and then chain two for your corner and then again popcorn back into that chain two corner space chain one for your popcorn and then chain one because obviously we'll be missing the stitch before we close off and then you want to slip stitch to join to the top of this popcorn so you've obviously got your popcorn part here. You want to turn it on its back slightly and you'll be able to see that there's some V's here. And you're going to insert your hook into the top of that popcorn stitch where you'll get the whole of that stitch and slip stitch. And that is the end of that round. Like I say, I've had to cheat and just work sections of this because I've run really short on this yarn. Okay, so final part of this one now. And it's really, really simple. You're going to work straight into this double, into this chain space in between the two popcorns. So you've got the one that you've just slipped, stitched into here, and then the next one, you've got this chain space here. So you're going to insert your hook in that chain space, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. You might want to pop a stitch marker into this so that you know where to close off. You're then going to chain three, skip the popcorn and double crochet, chain three, skip the popcorn and double crochet. And you'll work that all the way around, it just gives a little frill to the very final edge. And even in the corner, you're not going to do any extra stitches or anything like that. You're literally just going to do chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet over the top of every single popcorn stitch all the way around. So it's a super simple way to finish. And then obviously you want to pause and continue that all the way around. And I will meet you as we finish off this final round. So double crochet, chain three, around every single popcorn. So we're nearly done now, so again chain three and double crochet, chain three, oops, and then you're back to where we started from and if you've popped a little stitch marker in here then you will be able to see clearly exactly where your slip stitch needs to go. So you will, you'll have your chain three and then you'll slip stitch into the top of that very first double that we did, chain one, and then you'll be able to snip off and pull, pull it out. And you should have a border. Now, no matter what yarn you've used, you should have a beautiful textured border that looks like this with your ridges and your popcorns and then your beautiful delicate frills at the very end 
And that concludes part two of the Whirly Modern Baby Blanket. I really hope that you've enjoyed doing this pattern and remember you can obviously download it for free from my website and all of the information will be in the description box. But thanks for joining me and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.